Okay, and welcome back to uh, Talk Wisconsin. I'm here with Alexandra Vaglin. She is the owner of Birdie's Bookstore in Homer, Wisconsin. Alexandra, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Um, you know, I didn't know anything about you, and then I found you on the web, and I found you in Woman's Magazine. So can you tell our audience a little bit about how your bookstore got started and what you're doing? Yes, of course. So Birdie's Bookstore was always a dream of mine. I've been an avid reader my whole life. So of course, naturally, a book reader wants to have their own bookstore. And so over the years, I traveled near and far to all sorts of independent owned bookstores. And I started accumulating all these books in our house. So one day my husband says, we practically live in a bookstore already. <laughs> so I said, well, let's do it. And we both said, okay, we're doing it. And so it kind of got started from a brainy idea to a dream that came true. I'm Ed Alexandra. How long have you been in business? We opened up at the end of March going into April. Okay, and how's it going so far? It's going great. We really are enjoying the online space and finding creative ways to connect with our customers because a lot of us readers are kind of introverts, so it's great that I can meet readers virtually. Well, all my wife does is read, so I'm gonna send her your way so she can buy some books. I was telling her about you last night and she's like, oh, I'd like to go out there and check out what you have. But what you told me the other day on, on, on the phone is you don't have brick and mortar right now. So how do people order and buy from you? That's right, we are all online. So you can find us at our website, which is birdiesbookstore.com. Um, we're also on Facebook and Instagram. So we try to make it easy to find us. Otherwise we can schedule times where I can do book showings with you and get a collection of books and I'll meet with you here at our home. And you can kind of select from a curated collection just for you. Otherwise, I do try to do pop-ups when we're not in the middle of a pandemic. So last month we did Market in the Park and we look forward to doing more events where we can pop up and meet you guys in person. Well, that's another thing, Alexandra, that I was thinking about is how are you, how are you serving your clients, customers, prospects, whatever, in the pandemic? Yeah, so I work really hard to curate the collection of books that we have. We try to keep our collection very diverse. So I have women authors, authors of color. I have from best-selling authors all the way down to our local authors here in our community. And I love being able to support other local authors in our area. And then for our customers, I work really hard to make sure that our collection is very accessible. I try to make sure that I'm ordering things that can help our community. Like one of our books is Kindness Makes Us Strong. And I carry a lot of educational books for families. And then anytime anybody reaches out, um, I try to get them a curated recommendation list just for them and tell them, hey, these are the books that might interest you or interest your family or I offer special ordering. So for books that we do not carry, I can access our warehouse and order books in just for you. So in your definition, Alexandra, what is a must read? A must read is anything that can change your life or help you learn something. So must reads, I think almost any book is a must read because someone created that book from their heart. So for everybody, a must read is something different. That's outstanding. And uh, another thing I wanted to uh, point out is, look, to your point, as far as outsourcing books, so on and so forth, I'm a history buff. I love like Civil War, Revolutionary War stuff. I'm interested in that stuff. So how do I contact you and how do you source those books for me? Yes, so I can access a collection through the warehouse I work with. I work with the biggest one in the nation. So I can look up and recommend books that you are interested in. And when I order from the warehouse, I can just get your book in a couple days. Great ways to reach out to us are through our Facebook, email, our Instagram, or even on our website, we have a contact us area where you can fill out a form and it zips it right on over. What are your future plans for the store going forward? 
Our future plans are to work with more local authors, expand our collection, and someday we hope to open a brick and mortar store. That's great. I've been with Alexandra Vaglin, who is the owner of Birdie's Bookstore in Holman, Wisconsin. Give her a call, shoot her an email. She's got great stuff for you. We'll be back with more Talk Wisconsin right after this.